As an international student planning for a master's degree in the United States, you may have heard the term co-op. In this video, I'll delve into the meaning of co-op, its rules and regulations, and the benefits it provides. Co-op, which is short for cooperative education, is a unique opportunity that allows students to gain practical work experience in their chosen field while pursuing their studies. So, you may wonder, how is it different from a regular internship? Well, you can consider the co-op as an extension of your internship or an extended internship. As you may be aware, international students studying on F1 visa are eligible to pursue an internship after completing at least nine months of coursework, that is, after two semesters of full-time study in the United States. The university would have to issue a CPT which stands for Curricular Practical Training Certificate, for a student to be eligible for an off-campus internship. Let's, for example, take the case of students who start their master's program in fall of 2024. These students would be eligible to engage in an off-campus internship in the summer of 2025. If the university allows co-op, then students can extend their CPT and continue working on full-time internships beyond the summer term, that is, continue working in the fall 2025 and spring 2026 term as well. Students undertaking a co-op are also simultaneously required to enroll in a minimum number of courses while pursuing the co-op. Each university would have different rules on the minimum number of courses or credits one should enroll in during the co-op. Also, most universities that offer co-op options would also offer online courses or evening courses to allow students to work during the day and take classes in the evening or then online. Unlike the summer internship, when students do not take up any courses while pursuing the internship, Students who opt for a co-op are required to simultaneously enroll in a few courses as well. It is important to note that if you work full-time on CPT for 12 months or more, you will not be eligible to apply for an OPT. OPT, which stands for Optional Practical Training, is an authorization that allows students to work in the U.S. after graduation. Hence, it is recommended that you keep your total CPT term duration, that is, your total internship plus co-op duration, to 11 months or less. If your CPT term is 11 months or less, you will be eligible for the full OPT term. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.